Hey everybody, Indian Joe here. Before we get too deep into this, let me go ahead and say um, like, subscribe, comment. Um, just kind of let me know what you think. If you got questions, I'll answer them. So anyway, it has been a minute since I've made or posted a video. I've actually made a few, but then I didn't think they would do too much or so. I just kind of deleted them and didn't post them. Been kind of busy with a lot of shit going on in my life. Um, found out early January that um, we're going to be moving. So we have to move pretty soon-ish. Actually going to try to um, be moved out by mid-February. So there's that going on, but today's video isn't really talking about all my situation or what's going on. It's kind of been a rough, rough couple of months, you know, dealing with a, an old lady that's recovering from back surgery, dealing with swapping jobs, dealing with, you know, all the other stuff that's going on. So anyway, so today we're going to talk about gloves more specific, more specifically these gloves and I've been needing a new pair of winter slash gauntlet gloves so just before Christmas I ordered these from Odin Odin manufacturing which I heard about from shade tree surgeon watching his channel and you know he doesn't like talk a lot about them but occasionally he'll mention them, and he's always wearing the same pair of gloves almost in every video. Um, so I'm like, maybe I should look into them, just check them out. And I did, and I got this pair on sale for like $100, I think, with shipping, tax, whatever. Um, ordered my old lady a pair of summer gloves, because she's not going to be riding again with me until summer. But, so I got this pair, and as you can see, they've got the long gauntlet. They've, um, they're three, they're insulated with 3M. I'm not that familiar with that. I know 3M makes tape and stuff, but I didn't know they made insulation. But they're really good gloves. I mean, I probably don't need them today. I mean, I could get away with my regular summer gloves. But these are keeping my hands a little warmer than they do in like sub 60 degree weather. And they, they actually do a really good job in um, like 40 degree weather. Now, anything below like 42, 45 degrees, I turn the heated grips on. And the great thing about these gloves, the way they're insulated is when the grips heat up, the gloves will heat up. So between the gloves and the heated grips and like 30 degree weather once they warm up my hands are staying nice and toasty so I thought I would mention the gloves I mean if anyone's looking for a good pair of gloves um, I will probably replace my regular summer gloves with a pair of Odin gloves as well um, I haven't get, I haven't written out a long thought out review I do like the gloves, I really do. They're nice, I like the fact that they have the little breakaway fingertips on the index and the thumb finger so you can like have access to your thumbs to like if you need to text or if you need to get a wallet, if you need to get something out of your wallet that you can't do with bulky gloves on, you just peel back the index and the thumb and there you go, you can use the index and thumb fingers. They do have the magnets built in. Um, If you can look right here, they got a magnet built in right there. And they'll stick to your tank. So that's good. So I haven't got a title of this video yet. Because while I got the idea for the brand, because I would have never heard about these gloves had I not been watching Shade Tree Surgeon. Um, so I don't know if I should mention him, mention his channel in the comment or not. I don't want to seem like I'm kind of trying to ride his coattail, so to speak. I don't know if he'd mind. Like I said, I've never talked to him, never met the man. He seems like he'd be a pretty cool character to hang out with, though, that's for sure. Um, but 
I've got a couple of new subscribers. Thank y'all. I do apologize. Y'all subscribed and then I haven't put anything out in a minute. So, I don't know the exact model of these gloves by heart. I will post a link to them in, in the comment, in, not the comments, in the, in the description below. Well, I'm not going that way, then he's going. And then I will, you know, do all that. You know, I'll post a link in the, um, not subscription, but the description. There you go, the description. Yeah, my brain's kind of out of it. But, today was a nice enough day to ride. Don't get me wrong, I've been riding in 30 degree weather the last couple of weeks, back, back and forth to work. But today it warmed up to almost 60 degrees, and I'm like, you know, I haven't made a video. My what few subscribers I have are probably going to be like, well, where is this dude? We subscribed to him, and he ain't said nothing. Well, here I am, so, but like I said, it's been rough. I swapped jobs in the end of December, um, and so I'm still home every day. I'm off on weekends, but it's been crazy because I've been working 12 and sometimes 14 hour days, so not a lot of time to make videos, and on the weekends, I've got other stuff going on. Um, we're about to be moving in a couple of weeks, so that's probably going to be another thing, but it's one of those things, all things happen for a reason, I do believe. I just may not understand or may not even technically like the reason, but our landlord decided he wanted to try to sell the house. We're not in a position to buy the house, um, so we had to find somewhere else. He was nice enough to set us up with someone who had a house that they are moving out of and no longer need and they just kind of want to someone to rent a, rent a house. As she put it, she wants to be a blessing and, you know, to someone. So she's only asking pretty much what rent is on the house. I mean, not rent. She's only asking pretty much what her house payments is and rent. And she's willing to do rent to own later or even outright sell it if we can get in a position where we want to buy it. So that'll be a good thing for us. Um, so, it, I mean, it is what it is. I don't like it. I'm moving further away from my mom and all, but not by much, maybe an hour away, it ain't that big of a deal. But still, it's, it's a move I don't really want to make, my fiance don't really want to make, but sometimes in life you have to do the things you don't want to do. So between that and work and life and some of you may have figured out by now, or may not have figured out by now, while I'm not a member of a club, I do ride with a club. I hang around. And I don't talk about that much just because it's not my place to. Um, and I'm not going to mention what club it is. I will never, ever, ever, ever mention the name of my club on this channel unless something comes up and I have expressed expressed permission to do so which knowing the rules that I do that's a big no-no so but I have thought about you know maybe making some videos about do's and don'ts if you know everybody and his brother has made videos about club related topics but I thought maybe since I'm, a, I'm actively going through the hang around process and, you know, I've got an experience from being a hang around, um, maybe it might be something worth doing for me as I'm technically going through the process to kind of like 
you know, for those of you that might be interested, I can kind of give some generalized information, but, you know, most of what I know is pretty club specific, specific, but some of it can translate over into other stuff and other clubs as well. So if y'all would like to know more about that or whatever, you know, kind of comment, give me a note, or for all I know, there may be a patch holder somewhere out there watching this that says just mind your own business and stick to what you know and don't get into what you don't know. And that's perfectly good advice as well because my knowledge is limited. I am always actively learning. I'm always trying to actively learn. You know, I've made screw-ups like we all have. That's how you learn, by screwing up. But, you know, such is life. But, so yeah, with everything going on, it's just get, kind of been up in the air with life in general, I guess. The old lady's, oh, just, just to cover her, I guess, talk about her a little bit. She is uh, doing well. She's recovering. Uh, the doctors took her out of her back brace, told her she can start back trying to bend and you know do some stuff still no heavy lifting but she is recovering well the fusions appears to have been took uh, she'll go back in a couple of months for more x-rays and all. so I'm proud of her she's handled this better than I thought she would cause I know her and she does not like pain she does not like being in pain so my love if you watch this I'm proud of you for handling it as for me and my stuff, um, I was supposed to go to the doctor for my follow-up on my cancer stuff to make sure I'm still cancer-free uh, Monday, next week. But because I started a new job, I don't have insurance right now. I kind of have to wait till after my 60-day period before I have insurance. So. Uh, I pushed it out another month. I called the doctor. They said, that'll be fine. There's no point in you coming in and running up a bill that, you know, and have to have a huge out-of-pocket expense. So I put, I did put that off to the 1st of March. Oh, and I mean, I, I casually glanced over my heated grips earlier. I did get them installed. I started making a video where I was going to install them myself. I uh, took the headlight and all out of the bike and got to trying to feed stuff through and it was not going to fit. And rather than jank some shit up trying to feed shit through, I'm like, nope, I'm just going to stop right here. Made an appointment with a dealership, took it to the dealership, and luckily for me, I made the right choice because they fed the harnesses through by having to pull all the wiring out and feeding everything through together. So, um, I'm comfortable doing certain things, but the moment I get to something I'm not comfortable doing, I'm not going to do it. But the heated grips work well. Even in 32 degree weather, once they heat up with these gloves on, and since I have a full fairing that blocks a lot of the wind, uh, my hands stay pretty warm and toasty. And I don't know if y'all can see, but I put the uh, vinyl closeouts on my crash bars. So, I, get, I have most of the wind blocked off of me, so for me riding in cooler weather, while it's still cold, it's not a huge deal. It's not a crazy, okay, I'm going to freeze my balls off over a 20-minute ride. You know, that's, no, no. Um, but, yeah, you crank them up to 10, they stay pretty warm. Hope to get many years of usefulness out of the grips.
it I had to call around to like four dealerships to find them though. But if you can afford to put heated grips on a chieftain or something like that, do it. It's worth it. I don't know how well they're going to do now if you, like some of my friends who you've changed the bars out and your hands are up here above everything because right there I feel the wind hitting my hands, whereas down here I don't. So, yeah, I imagine your hands would still get cold up in the air like that. But that's the reason I chose to go with function over style and leave my handlebars in stock position. It's comfortable to me on top of that. But I'm sure most of y'all have tuned out of this by now. But I would recommend the gloves if you're looking for a new pair of gauntlet gloves that, you know, work well, and you, especially if you've got a fairing and you don't need anything that's like super thick or super insulated. I mean, these are well insulated, don't get me wrong, but they're not thick and bulky. They're, they're usable. Um, they have a sizing chart. The sizing chart is pretty spot on. They'll make suggestions. Like when I measured mine, they suggested extra large, but if you wanted the gloves to fit tighter, you could go down to a large, or if you wanted them to fit maybe a little looser, uh, depending on if you wanted them to fit loose in the hands or tight in the fingers or whatever, they'll, they'll give you suggestions. You know, I'm, uh, they suggested an extra large for me and they fit well. You know, I love them. You know, I will, recommend these gloves to anyone that asks about them if they're looking for a good pair of gloves. That is the God's honest truth. I paid my I paid my good money that I've earned for these gloves. So, you know, I don't take sponsored anything. I will never do sponsored anything. And if, if for some rare reason someone does say, hey, we want you to review this, I will make sure y'all know that it was something that was given to me. But I will always do an honest video. In other words, if they give me something or someone gives me something and I think it's a crap product, you can bet your bottom dollar I'm going to let people know it's a crap product. You know, but I will start, I am, honestly, I'm going to try to start back doing more videos. Um, it's just been rough, and after the move, everything has settled down, I feel, where I'll probably have time to, you know, make a few videos, or who knows, I may have to do like Shade Tree Surgeon himself does, and just may have to film little bits and pieces over a couple of days, and just kind of put it all together and make a video, and, you know, let it let chips fall where they may, if they will. But, I'm going to enjoy my ride. I don't know if y'all would like to see just some ride videos out there, like people up north that can't ride right now. If y'all would like to see just some videos of me riding, probably no talking or not much talking. Uh, let me know and I will definitely do some of that too. Anyway, y'all take it easy and keep the shiny side up and uh, rubber on the road. Till then, y'all take it easy.